Due to a little bit of curiosity, I decided to do a test with Wi-Fi. I want to see just how far I can extend Wi-Fi coverage using a simple household item, aluminum foil. Now in today's video, I'm going to be testing the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band with the Linksys AC3200 router. Now this is an older router that I've had kind of stored in the closet, so it has external antennas that I think is going to be perfect for this test. Now during this test, I want to make sure that I keep all of the antennas in the same direction to not skew the overall results. And as it sits right now, I'm not entirely sure what different shapes or how I'm going to, you know, put the aluminum foil around the actual device itself. But that's what this video is for, is to see what works and what doesn't, and if so, just how much. Okay, for my baseline test, just to see how far the Wi-Fi would go completely stock, I was able to get about 745 feet with the 5 gigahertz band and 505 feet with the 2.4 gigahertz band. So that's a good place to start. Now I'm gonna see just how far I can go with a little bit of aluminum foil. I've decided for this first test, I'm going to use an old Amazon box that I have and I'm going to line it with aluminum foil. And then I will be able to set this in it just like that. Basic home remedy to extending Wi-Fi with a box and some aluminum foil. Let's see if that works. And here we have it. Very simple setup. I did put a couple layers and instead of taking it all the way to the edge, I did give it a little bit of a curvature on each side so it's kind of beveled a little bit and hopefully that will reflect some Wi-Fi signal down the road a little bit farther than it is stock. So my first test turned out to be a little interesting. I, as I showed you before, took a, an old box, put a little bit of aluminum foil in it, made it a little bit curved just so it wasn't boxy-like, and I put it right behind the router. I then walked down the street just to see how far it could go. Now, I started off with the 2.4 gigahertz just because from my previous test, I found that that does go at a shorter distance than five gigahertz does. And I found that I went from 505 feet to 631 feet just by adding a box with aluminum foil and pointing it in the right direction. Furthermore, I tested the five gigahertz band and I was able to go all the way out to 820 feet from my previous one of 745 feet, giving me a pretty good gain in distance just from a little bit of aluminum foil. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of a different approach. Instead of using a box with some aluminum foil in it, instead I'm gonna wrap some aluminum foil around the antennas themselves, and then I'm gonna point them in the right direction. Now this is gonna resemble something similar to like a split open beer can, where you can put it right on the router itself, on the antennas themselves, without adding a bulky box to the situation. That way if you have a limited area or limited space, wherever your router may be, the huge box won't be a problem because you could wrap it right around the antennas. So I'm gonna test that out, I'm gonna see how that performs, and I'll be right back. Not exactly like a beer can, but maybe it'll do. Okay, so the next test with 5 gigahertz with aluminum foil without the box, I was able to get 818 feet. I could probably get 820, so the results are pretty close. I'll tell you what, I got some pretty interesting results from my testing today. Using aluminum foil to extend your Wi-Fi isn't necessarily a, a new idea, but it is interesting putting numbers to it and seeing what kind of percentages you can gain out of just a little bit of tin foil. Well, I guess technically it's aluminum foil, but is that the same thing? Aluminum tin? I don't know. 
So earlier in the video, I did mention before some of the numbers that I was getting, but I'll run through it again just to kind of recap. As a base test with the five gigahertz band, I was able to go up to 745 feet. 745, not bad. When I added the box with the tin foil lined in it, again, not all the way to the corners of the box, more of like a, an oval shaped, I was get, able to get 820 feet. And then when I went with this kind of like Mickey Mouse resembling ears here that wrap around the antennas and forces them out that way, I, I got 818 feet. Now for my testing, what I used was the same testing tool I used when I was testing how good my signal quality was throughout the house in different videos, and that is the Wi-Fi Sweet Spots app on my iPhone 7 Plus. Rather than judging when the Wi-Fi signal itself fell off and it went to LTE from Wi-Fi, I actually wanted to see when the actual speed would fall off, as in the communication between my phone and the router. Because even when I was testing technically not receiving any data to, from the router to my phone, I still said that I had one to two bars on the Wi-Fi signal. So I wanted a more accurate test, and that's where the Wi-Fi sweet spot came into play. So with that said, I was able to get 820 feet with the box and tin foil, and 818 feet with the little Mickey ears. So I would almost say that's safe to assume that's within margin of error to be identical. It gets a little interesting though with the 2.4 gigahertz, because my baseline number was 505 feet. From there, I was testing it with the box and the aluminum foil, I was able to get 631 feet. That is a significant improvement. Furthermore, using the Mickey ears, I was actually able to get 658 feet considerable improvement over the baseline test. So with this test, the main goal here was to get percentages, to find out exactly what kind of gains I could get from a couple different variations of aluminum foil. And with five gigahertz band with the Mickey Mouse and the box, I was able to get on average about 10% gain in distance uh, versus the baseline test. But 2.4 gigahertz though, that's where it got a little interesting. That's where I was able to get 25% with the box and 30% with the Mickey ears. Kind of interesting. Now I'm sure different routers that have different setups for their antennas might run a little bit differently. Uh, the way this was kind of shaped, I was kind of limited as far as how I could arrange the aluminum foil on it. Uh, for example, if these in antennas would have all been in one like single row, like maybe on a lower end version of the Linksys or you know like a TP Link or something like that, um, I would be able to you know create a little bit different designs or play around with some different ideas. Uh, but the way this is laid out, I can't really separate each one individually or wrap them individually without interfering with the next one uh, if I'm going specifically in like one direction. So I'm kind of limited to the designs that I can choose, but I thought that two different designs that was a pretty good start. Now me personally, if I really wanted to extend the range of my wireless router using this technique, I would think that maybe the box technique would be a little bit better. And I say this because if you use the box technique, you can technically keep the router separated from the aluminum foil. Um, that allows you to do maintenance, unplug it, plug other things in. I mean, you can see from this, this would cause a little bit of issue trying to get land cables plugged into the back. And you, I mean, it'd just be a mess. But having it put inside the box, as I showed you before, leaves it completely separate. That allows you to plug things in, remove things if you need to, uh, readjust it if you have to. You can still change the direction of the antennas if you need to. So it gives you a little bit more usability. And from what I'm seeing, for a 2.4, you only lose 5%. And when it comes to the 5 gigahertz, it's almost identical. Now keep in mind that this is a test to see how far you can extend your Wi-Fi in a single direction. This will limit your omnidirectional Wi-Fi. So if you have this in the middle of your house and you want to direct it towards a, a certain area in your house, that might be fine. But doing so, you might cut off a little bit of Wi-Fi signal on the other side of your house. I should also note here that I did use two layers of aluminum foil. Just because it was a little thin, I wanted to make sure that I got as much, you know, capture of the Wi-Fi signal there as possible. Well, actually it made it a little bit more sturdy to work with as well, so that's really why I did it. But I figured it's good to note here, so if anyone does want to try to recreate this, just know that I did use two layers. Now the great thing here is that if you are in a situation where you do want or need to extend your Wi-Fi in one particular direction, it doesn't take a whole lot to test it out. Uh, you can get a box, line it with some aluminum foil, or just wrap aluminum foil on it like I did here and see if it helps you out in any. If it does, awesome. If not, oh well. Well guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, like and subscribe below. I appreciate every single one of you, and have a great day.